Hi, I'm Frank Kane from Sundog Software, here to talk about a new feature in version 2.8 of the Silver Lining Sky 3D Cloud and Weather SDK. We now let you select between two different models for coloring the sky. We've got a split screen going on here. On the right is the Predom model that we've been using since 2006, and on the left is the new Hosek Wilkie model we, that was developed just last year. Hosek Wilkie bills itself as being more realistic, and you can see for yourself how they compare here. During the day, you'll see that Hosek Wilkie is a much deeper blue and that pinkish glow at the horizon is gone. You can brighten up that blue a bit if you want by increasing the gamma setting in silver lining. As the sun sets, you can see that the Preta model looks a little bit over the top compared to the Hosek Wilkie model. Whether that's a good thing or not depends on your application. I think the, the Preta model coloring looks a little bit more dramatic, so it might be better for games, but Hosek Wilkie is more realistic for simulations and things like that. You can make the Hosek Wilkie model more dramatic by increasing the simulated turbidity of the atmosphere, which I'll crank up right now. And that's basically a measure of how hazy it is. And you can see that as I increase the turbidity to higher levels, Predom model kind of goes berserk, but Hosek Wilkie does the right thing. So if you do need to simulate more hazy or humid conditions, Hosek Wilkie is definitely better for that. Let's put that back down. You can switch between these two models at runtime, so you can choose whichever one works best for your application. And uh, I, should note, I should also point out that neither of these models are really being used alone. The Preta model is actually being extended by our own simulation of uh, solar radiance, and we also extend it so it works at night from moonlight as well as from solar light. And one limitation of the Hosek Wilkie model is that it can't handle uh, when the sun actually goes below the horizon, so we actually blend that toward the Preta model at, uh, after dusk. We also have our own little model of twilight that's uh, used in both of these models. So they have a lot in common after the sun goes down, but when the sun comes up, you can see they're quite different. Thanks for having a look. If you want to learn more, check out our website at www.sundogsoftware.com. And you can learn more there. Check out a free evaluation, demos, videos, the whole nine yards. Thank you.